lighting we got today. What's up everyone? It's your boy OG Dan. Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over skating tips for cities and urban areas. So everything you need to know for getting a board while you are in a city. Now disclaimer, this video I'm going to be using my cruiser board, my Landiat's dinghy. This video will work for other types of boards. It's just I usually use my cruiser in these types of cities and whatnot. So that is what we're going to do in today's video. And man, it is windy out. Anyways, let's get into the video. All right, so the first tip that I have is anytime you're in a city area and you have bumps like this in the ground, like big cracks that are likely you're going to hit and your board might get stuck and kind of shoot up. They're very annoying, but they're everywhere. You're gonna find them in all kinds of locations. And the best way to figure out how to get over these things without crashing is learning how to do a mini jump, but like not actually jumping. So this is kind of what I mean by that. Basically, all you need to do is get on your board and instead of actually jumping, you just kind of want to let some of the weight off of your board, just like this. Now, when you do that and you go over cracks like this, it's going to give you a bit of a buffer so that you're not going to hit it and the board's not going to dip forward. It's going to kind of give you a buffer to shoot up a little bit and kind of level off. So it's going to look something like this. Now the cool part about learning how to distribute your weight in this way is you can use it for a variety of different circumstances. Not only can you use it for cracks in the sidewalk, you can use it for getting over potholes, getting over metal things in the ground. I use this every time I go over the tracks on the light rail up here. So in the cities we have light rail tracks. There's no way I would be able to get over those unless I did a little, you know, a little hop like that. So very useful wide range of uses super easy and very helpful so that you're not always falling or almost falling every time you go over a little bump okay bonus tip when you're doing this more speed the better the more speed the freaking better even though it may seem scarier the faster you're going it's going to be way easier to get over these bumps anyways moving on to the next tip Okay, and the next tip is about learning how to go down curbs or slight inclines without needing a ramp down. So a lot of times in cities, you're gonna have sidewalks that will have a nice little ramp leading into the street, an easy way to get up and to get off of the sidewalks and get around. But that's not always going to be the case. And a lot of the times you're going to have a sidewalk, no ramp to get down, and it's just gonna be the sidewalk level and the street level, just like this right here. Obviously there's the sidewalk, and there's a gap that goes down. Now what you need to learn is how to be able to get down these without the board just straight up dropping. Because while this will usually work pretty decently and okay, it's not always the best option and sometimes you're going to nosedive if you're going really fast and the board's just gonna flip out of control. The way to do this properly, as you're approaching the curb, you're gonna wanna put a little weight on the back tail just so the board lifts up a tiny bit. You don't have to hold it for a long time, just a little bit. But you want it to lift up a little bit so that you can get your back wheel up here. And as you're going down, your tail is going to hit it and your wheels are going to hit the ground at the exact same time. This ensures that you're not nose diving into the ground and it ensures that all four wheels are going to hit the contact at the exact same time, which is gonna make it so that you won't fall off and it's gonna be super helpful for getting up any sorts of inclines like this all around the city, which you're gonna find a lot. And this looks exactly like this. All right, y'all, with those two tips out of the way, let's head on back to East Bank and we'll talk about the other tips. Why is it so windy? All right, y'all, so the next trick that I got for y'all is get very, and I mean very comfortable with turning. Turning in a city is everything because there are sharp little turns, little people you gotta move around. There are so many little things 
that you gotta be aware of and be able to turn easily through or you're not gonna have as good of a time, trust me. There's lots of things you can do to get better at turning, but honestly, just practice, practice, work on your balance, work on getting comfortable with the board and just keep going at it and don't give up and you will get better. So the more you practice, the better you're gonna get at it. All right, y'all, my next tip is make sure whatever board you're using, you have very big wheels on it. So the cruiser I mainly use for school is the Landia Stingy Turbo King, and it comes with these massive wheels. These are called Hogs Plow King. They're 72 millimeter diameter and 65, I think, 65 millimeter width. So these are wide and big wheels. But the reason you want really big wheels is because they're gonna roll over everything in a city. Big cracks, dirt, sand, gravel, bumps in the sidewalk, potholes, manhole covers, and most importantly, this is the only board I have where I feel comfortable enough to ride over the light rail tracks. So if you have light rail tracks wherever you live in the city and you wanna go over them, get something at least 65 millimeters wide. Uh, trust me, you're gonna love them. Again, these Hogs Plow Kings are amazing wheels and I highly recommend them for any type of urban city skating. Finally guys, the last tip I have, sort of an optional one, but let me just tell you, it does not hurt to know how to ollie around on your board. If you got a cruiser board, ollieing it is extremely useful. It's gonna help you a lot getting up curbs, just getting around big bumps that maybe just doing a little hop won't help with, and whatnot. If you have a long board, don't even worry. You can't really ollie on a long board, but what you can do is you can learn how to do the tiger claw, the demon claw, the variations of tiger claw, any sort of trick where you pop the board up, grab it and land back on it are gonna get you up curbs. And I have many videos on this on the channel. With that being said, your boy just got home. He's gonna get some food. It's cold as heck outside. So hopefully you enjoyed the city tips videos. Let me know what you wanna see me make next on the channel. Hit the like button for me, subscribe if you want. I'm out, have a good rest of your day. Yeah, peace out, see you guys.